So, who makes the best fish and chips? Is it Morrison's or is it Tesco? Well, today I'm going to find out because I'm going to be trying both to see who's best. So let's start off first with Morrison's. So the Morrison's Cafe is one of my favourite supermarket cafes and I can't wait to see what their fish and chips is like. The one I decided to visit is located in Weatherby and it's a pretty impressive one to say the least. It kind of looks like some sort of Middle Eastern palace to me going by the architecture of it. So I wonder what it used to be. Let's head in. And out again, as the cafe is not actually inside the store. It's just to the side of it, which I found a bit strange as usually they're inside. It took a bit of searching in the store before I realized, but it should be just at the end right here. Let's head in. This time to the correct cafe. It's a pretty open and spacious one with loads of seating, just like most of the ones I've been to before. You have the typical cafe styling with the seats near the window, which I decided to choose this time. The main counter is located on the left side as you walk in with a selection of sandwiches, cakes, pastries and drinks. It's also where you order from too. There are a couple of menus at different points throughout the cafe, so you can have a look at all the food options available. But no need for that today, as we're here for the fish and chips. So let's grab our tray and get ordering. I'm also going to have a cup of tea with it as usual, which you get to choose yourself and fill up yourself too, which I like. I do prefer fresh milk though, rather than the ones in these cartons, as I think it gives a fresher taste. But let's get making the tea before we start eating. So here it is, the Morrison's fish and chips. How impressive does this look? You get good portions of everything presented on a nice circular plate. The fish that you get is absolutely massive. Look how big that is. And the batter looks amazing too. I cannot wait to dig into that later on. You get a bowl of mushy peas, but you can opt for garden peas if you want that, so you get a choice. And you get a good portion of chips as well that look to be fried pretty well. The first thing I need to do is put on some salt and vinegar and I think you need to get a generous amount of each. The smell of the salt and vinegar is so appetizing as it gets your mouth watering and just reminds you of fish and chips and in this case I have fish and chips so I get to imagine it and actually eat it. I'm going to start off with a chip first. They're a good size and shape and they have some golden brown colour to them so let's go in for a taste and see what they're like. A really nice chip. There's a slight crisp to the outside as soon as you bite into it. The inside is soft and floury and you get a nice potato flavour. The salt and vinegar really come through as well. Let's try out the mushy peas next. It's a really thick one that you get here which I do prefer over a thinner one. It's a good colour too so not too green that it seems unnatural. Let's go in for a taste. You get a subtle pea flavour and it's not too mashed so you do get some whole peas in there. I like it. But what I really need to do is have it with a chip and build up a combo bite. Delicious. You get the crisp from the chip, the salt and vinegar flavour too and then the subtle pea flavour and the thick texture. It's just a really comforting bite of food. I want to try out the tartar sauce next. It's Heinz tartar sauce and not a fresh one, which I think is better, but let's get it out onto the plate. And I think we need to dip a chip in it to really get the full flavour. It's really nice. The tartar sauce is a bit sour and tangy, which adds a bit of freshness. And that combines really well with the crisp potatoey chips. I think it's now time for the fish. And what a piece of fish this is. It almost looks like a chip shop piece of fish, which is a compliment for a cafe fish. Let's cut into it and see what the inside is like. Look at that. It just looks so tasty and appetizing. I need to cut off a piece to try out. My mouth is watering just looking at it right now. You've got the fish, you've got the batter, 
There's only one thing left to do. Eat it. What a delicious piece of fish. You get the crispy batter on the outside. The fish inside is soft and succulent. You get the salt and vinegar flavour that just combines with it so well. Delicious. I want to try out a piece of fish just on its own. It flakes apart so easily. It's a nice white colour. And it's a thick bit of fish you get here as well. Thicker even than at some chip shops. I'm not sure of the type of fish it is, but it has a light flavour to it. Let's take a bite. Really nice. It says on the menu that it's fresh from their market street, and I can believe that because it tastes it. Let's try out just the batter on its own. It's a nice golden brown colour, it's got a great crisp to it. It looks like a chip shop batter, so I wonder if it's actually deep fried or oven cooked. Either way, it's tasty. It's crispy and crunchy, you get an oily fried flavour, and the salt and vinegar just makes it. Let's do a combo bite with the fish, the batter, the chips, and the mushy peas together. Really tasty, but I think I can improve it with some tartar sauce. Now this is the ultimate bite. Delicious. This was a great fish and chips. You get a huge thick piece of fish, the batter was crispy, the chips and mushy peas were great as well. In fact, I think it could give some chip shops a run for their money. What a great fish and chips that was. The fish was delicious. So the total cost of that meal was £8.28. I don't know how Tesco are going to be able to top that, but let's go see if they can. So I decided to go to a really big Tesco's for this one, a Tesco Extra. It's located in York and situated in this absolutely huge and impressive building. Maybe one of the biggest Tesco's I've ever seen. So I'm hoping it has a cafe to match. Let's head in. The cafe is located to the right of the entrance with a big sign above the door. You have the main counter as soon as you walk in with all the menu options, cakes on display and the big words order here in case if you're in any doubt. It's a moderately sized cafe with a modern and stylish decor. You have the vinyl type flooring with the exposed ceiling and beams and a bright furniture throughout. It's a decent sized menu with breakfast, lunch, sandwiches and drink options. But we're not interested in those today. We're interested in the hand battered fish and chips plus the usual cup of tea which I think I prefer here as you get fresh milk. So let's make this cup of tea and get ready for the fish and chips. Here it is, the Tesco fish and chips. It's a pretty good looking plate of food. You get a big piece of fish with a dark looking crispy batter that I can't wait to try out. A pot of really big thick cut chips with a nice golden brown colour to them. A wedge of lemon hiding under the chips. A little pot of bushy peas. And a pot of fresh tartar sauce which is always better than the sachet ones. The first thing I have to do is put on some salt and vinegar. And again we need to get a good layer on here. You almost need to put on more than you think you need, as I find it's always never enough. But you can keep topping it up as and when you need, as you have the salt and vinegar at your table, rather than at a chip shop takeaway. I think I'm going to start with one of these huge chips. They're so thick cut here, it's almost like a big chunk of potato. They've got a great golden colour to them. Let's see how they taste. Decent chips. There's a slight crisp to the outside and a big bit of potato on the inside. It did feel a bit dry though, I think due to how thick the chips were. So you need something saucy to have with it to moisten it up. Let's try out the mushy peas. It's a nice thick texture, a good light green colour. Not the biggest portion, but let's try it out. A good mushy peas. You get a strong pea flavour, it's not totally mashed, so you do come across some whole peas which is nice as it mixes up the texture. 
I think I need to have a bit though with a chip just to combine the flavours. It works really well together. Even though the mushy peas is not a sauce, it does help loosen up the chip and does make it a little less dry. But I think this is really going to help, the tartar sauce. It looks like a thinner one but does still hold well on the chip and I like that it's a fresh one too. Let's try it out. Really tasty. You get a strong sour and tangy flavour which is rich and creamy at the same time and that combines well with the crispness of the chip and the potato flavour. Let's try out this great looking fish. The batter looks crispy and has a great golden brown colour to it. It's a decent size although could be a bit thicker in my opinion. Let's cut it in half and check out the inside. Look at that fish, juicy and flaky in the middle. I need to cut a piece off to try out. I've got a good bit of batter, a good bit of the fish too. Let's see how it tastes. The batter is crispy, the fish is soft and flakes away as soon as you bite into it. It's a decent piece of fish. I want to try out just the fish on its own, just to see how that is. I've got a good bit here, I like how flaky and juicy it looks, let's take a bite. It's a subtle tasting fish, so could be cod, but not totally sure as it doesn't say on the menu. Let's try out just the batter on its own. It's a nice golden brown colour, I like how it glistens in the light. Let's try it out. You get a crisp and a crunch and a subtle oily fried flavour too with the salt and vinegar. I think we need to mix up the flavours with a combo bite. So this is fish, batter, chips and mushy peas. Very tasty. But I think the ultimate bite here is with the tartar sauce. The tanginess of the tartar sauce really does help it here and brings the bite together. I think you need it on pretty much every bite with the salt and vinegar and that's when you get the most out of this fish and chips. That was an okay fish and chips in there. The tartar sauce was pretty good. So the total cost of that meal was £10.40. So which was the better fish and chips? Comment down below which one you preferred. I think for me it's a pretty easy decision. Both the fish and chips were better at Morrison's. So Morrison's takes it for me. Okay if you like fish and chips click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you in the next one.